Hi everybody. Today I'm going to make a Christmas gift. I am going to do a pour on this little slab of wood and then when it's dry I'm going to add a hook somewhere around there and it'll be a really cool little coat rack. Possibly maybe even put a little shelf up here for keys or something. I don't know yet but we'll see. All I know is this is going on there and I will be using chocolates and turquoise and a little bit of cream and possibly some bronze that I have in there that looks really cool. It's uh, really metallic. Okay, let's get started, everybody. First, I'm going to pour some negative space. Now, I've never painted on this kind of wood before. I've even sanded it, and I gave it a quick spray paint with a clear gloss, or I mean a matte. Actually, it was a satin, <laughs> just to try to get some of the wood to go down a little and then when I tried to sand some of the rougher spots it came out like white so I'm just gonna go for it let's do some negative space everybody and tilt it up and here we go best thing to do is just jump right in I do have another bottle and then I put uh, one drop of silicone in the uh, paints the colors this is looking pretty cool everybody all right now I'm gonna bring it up there a little bit Look at it from this angle to make sure I'm not, uh, okay, you know, too much. Gonna pop a few bubbles here. All right, now. This is looking kind of cool, everybody. I made two cups of this paint just in case I didn't have enough or I didn't like the way it was turning out because I've never done this on wood before, like I said. All right. One good thing, it's like if you have a lot of paint in here, the good thing is that uh, since this is wood, it uh, will soak in there a little bit. I'm really getting some cool colors in here, everybody. Let's see, what I want to do is put... Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of paint in here because I have a little dark blue in there like that from the main cup. I think I'm going to uh, do like that. So I have a little bit more of some negative space. And I'm just going to flip it and drag it all the way down like that. A lot of stuff going on here that's really pretty. A little negative space on the outside. It's kind of cool. Tilting it back a little. 
So when you tilt a whole lot, you kind of lose some cell action and you get more of the swirls. That's why I want to go ahead and, uh, let's see. So that is kind of cool. Starting to muddle the colors a little bit and getting a little more of the cream in there that I don't want. I'm going to put one line right down the middle like that then. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let it sit a minute here. Bubbles going over there. Got some stuff going on up there. The wood is poking through like where I sanded before. I see the wood kind of coming through up on top. It looks a little rough and rugged, which is fine. I see how it's sinking in the sides too here when I tilted it. This is really pretty, everybody. You know, it's just too light on the sides because of the wood. So I'm going to do a quick, uh, actually, you know what? Here's where I can maybe add some of that bronze. Let's see. All right, everybody, let's let it sit. It's really pretty. I love the colors. I'm gonna do something with this down here though. But I'm gonna let this sit for now. Let me pop some more bubbles and uh, run it off that edge a little bit right there. Almost looks like a little pretty waterfall, doesn't it? Can't wait till it dries now, you guys. All right, I'm gonna stop the camera, clean up, and uh, gather some paint that I dripped down there and swipe that to get some uh, cells going in there so I can make some jewelry or something with that. And I definitely will show you guys that in another video. I've been saving some of that stuff up to uh, show you that. It's starting to spread around the sides, I can see, but it um, might look cool. Maybe I add a little dark chocolate to that when it's dry. We'll just see like a layer on top of a layer. All right, everybody. I'll check in with you later. Okay, catching you up to date. I poured some paint on the sides, down the side like that, and then tipped it and let this side dry and then did this side. And then I'm going to think about 
putting a finish on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a gloss finish or a satin finish or maybe a resin. I don't know yet, but I'm just updating you guys on what I've done so far. I'm back, everybody. So I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm trying to finish this little Christmas present up. So I went ahead and took uh, the Martha Stewart glitter here. It's the color, um, let's see, <laughs> Lapis Lazuli. <laughs> okay, well, I took the sparkle paint and a little brush, and I went ahead and just gave a little bit of sparkle to this painting here. Okay, so now what I need to do, well, then I went ahead and dug the garage, Dug through these nails here, these screws, because you got to find the right screws for the hooks. Because sometimes these hooks, act, I got this at Michael's, by the way. And sometimes these hooks don't actually come with uh, screws. So, I had to dig through this in the garage, my little screwdriver here. Because some are just, some nail uh, screws, if they fit, they'll poke through the wood. Maybe they're too long. Or if they don't fit, they're too fat, or they're too short, or not long enough. So... If something doesn't come with screws, sometimes it can be a pain in the old rear end, if you know what I mean. Okay, then, okay, after I did that, I went ahead and positioned it where I want it and marked it with the felt pen, two little dots. And then I took my hammer and nail, because I, you can't just stick a screw in there either. So I took my hammer and nail and um, I pounded a, a small hole in the two spots where the screws are gonna go because you wanna open the wood up a little bit. What I wanna do now is go ahead and put some gloss on here. I have the gloss varnish. Turn it this way, maybe it'll be more in the camera. And then um, I mix it with water too because it's gonna dry fast and I'm just putting two thin layers on because I was going to put uh, the, some epoxy on there, the resin, but I changed my mind and I decided to just do a couple uh, layers of this gloss varnish. Now, um, when you put the gloss varnish on, it'll even tell you, you know, not to put water in it, not to put water. I do it because I thin it out and I like a couple of thin coats. Plus, when I mix it with water, I don't really see very many, um, I don't get that, uh, those uh, brush lines in there. And then I br get the brush wet as well first after I blew the air, blew air on it, whatever. So I get the brush wet. And what I want to do is take my squirt bottle water and put some down on the wood here because the wood is porous on these ends here where it's not finished. And it's going to just soak up this water. <laughs> it's thirsty, y'all. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just pour some of this gloss medium, or varnish rather, on the ends in the middle. <laughs> I tell you what, I can't get my mind straight today, especially if you're expecting someone to knock at the door, and I don't want to rush this because I enjoy this kind of stuff, so I think I'm just going to slow down everybody and and have some fun. But the, <laughs> the dog's nails need clips, so I can hear this clickety-clacking and clickety-clacking and all over the place, so <laughs> trying to relax and have fun doing something, and she's going from one window to the other to look at the squirrels outside and now there's snow coming and she's uh clickety clack clickety clack aren't you aria aren't you ari going all over the place aria's everywhere today i hope everybody's having a nice holiday season don't get all flustered over gifts and stuff like that because uh, I'm not, I'm just someone who don't like to rap, and I, I hate it. I don't know why, but it's just never been my forte, you guys. I can't, I don't like it. I don't know, like, to, some people are really good at it. That's probably why I don't like it. I'm not very good at it, you know? And I just, I'm always too busy to take the time to do it right, and, you know, of course, if I just had one gift to rap, you know, I'd probably enjoy it, I'd probably do it right, but... My thing is that I think over the years, I'm finally just recently decided to do me, you know, and try to enjoy my life and do what I want to do in life and follow some of my dreams and passions. And then, so I don't want to get wrapped up with uh, 
you know, now that I'm older, I don't have to just be buying a whole bunch of gifts for a whole bunch of people. And the kids are grown and of course they like money, you know, so <laughs> I don't know everybody. It's different for everybody. And then I just feel really bad. So my prayers go out to anybody this holiday season that lost a loved one or it's not going to have the Christmas that they, they wish they could have. So I'll pray for you guys. I want life on earth is short enough. After all, this is your life. And remember that you're the one who has to die for it. So enjoy it. Make it right. Right your wrongs. Enjoy life. And do you, boo. <laughs> do you. I love all my artist friends and all that. You guys, I, I love this. This painting and all this artwork. And, you know, it's like, I spent so many years taking care of kids and family and holding down more than one job and all that stuff. And I'm not the only one out there. I'm speak for many, but it just got to the point now where I'm older and I want to do me now, you know, and it's just hard. It's just hard to uh, jump back into life when you're so used to taking care of so many things and so many people. And you now you kind of want to enjoy life now and, it's hard when you get older because it's like, geez, what, where do I start now? I'm almost 60 years old and I spent my time taking care of old, elderly people and raising kids and I don't know what to do with myself. Maybe I'm going through a change of life now. Maybe I'm going through that menopause thingy. I don't know. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's one little coat. It's going to be pretty. So... Not only that, but I went to college for art. You know, I got an art degree, and I want to utilize that. I want, I want to come back to that. So that's why I'm missing it after all these years of taking care of things we all have to take care of. And now I want to take care of me and then do something I enjoy doing and educate people with the things that I've learned and love to do. All right, everybody. Let that dry, and uh, I'll put the second coat on, and then I'll... Turn the camera back on and we'll put the hook on you guys. See you in a minute.